In the early morning of April 15, 1912, the Titanic sank into the North Atlantic Ocean. Just four days into the ship's journey, this massive ocean liner collided with an iceberg, which led to the loss of most patrons and crew members on board a few hours later. Poor lifeboat management, combined with the lack of a nearby ship, led to one of the biggest disasters of all time, and the wreckage of the ship still exists on the bottom of the ocean floor today. Most people's knowledge of the Titanic comes from the 1997 Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet film, but the film generated many myths about the Titanic because the movie missed plenty of information and got other things wrong. For instance, did you know the Titanic was the first ship to feature a heated swimming pool on board? This list includes 23 lesser-known fun facts about the Titanic. For instance, newspapers originally reported that there were no casualties. The list goes on and on, so check out our fun facts about the Titanic and comment below when you hear an oddball fact you never heard before. On the morning of the accident, a lifeboat drill was cancelled. The lifeboat situation was pretty dire when the Titanic went sank. Some boats left early, with room for more passengers on board, due to extreme panic and confusion. This could have been avoided if the scheduled lifeboat drill for that morning had not been cancelled. It remains unclear why the drill was cancelled. A handwritten letter from the day of the accident still exists. After over 100 years, the last surviving handwritten letter composed on Titanic letterhead resurfaced for an auction. Esther Hart and her daughter Eva wrote a letter to Esther's mother about the wonderful journey they were taking together on the Titanic. Although her husband was tragically killed that day, Esther and Eva survived. They kept the letter in the family for decades until it went up for auction in England and sold for around $200,000 in 2014. All of the third-class passengers shared two bathtubs. The third-class accommodations on the ship were, needless to say, less glamorous than those in first class. While the third-class bunk beds included mattresses, blankets and pillows, they lacked sheets and pillowcases. And only two bathtubs served all 700-plus third-class passengers. Can you imagine waiting your turn to take a bath at the end of a 450-person line? Three dogs made it onto the lifeboats. Although nine dogs passed away aboard the Titanic, three lucky pups somehow made it onto a lifeboat, two Pomeranians and one Pekingese. One of the dogs that survived belonged to Harper and Roe publishing heir Henry Harper. When asked why he saved his dog over other people, he replied, there seemed to be lots of room and nobody made any objection. The Titanic had its own daily newspaper. The Titanic featured its own newspaper called the Atlantic Daily Bulletin. The paper was printed each day on board the Titanic. It included news and society gossip, horse racing results and stock prices. There was a closer rescue ship. Although the Carpathia eventually came to the Titanic's rescue, there was a closer ship that would have been more ideal for a rescue mission. The Californian and her captain, Stanley Lord, were stuck in an ice field themselves and tried warning other ships. Allegedly, the Titanic told them to shut up. Officers on the Californian eventually saw the flare signals from the Titanic, but dismissed them as friendly signals between ships in the same company. The boat delivered mail. Though the RMS Titanic was by designation a royal merchant ship, it also carried carried mail under the auspices of His Majesty's postal authorities. It is said the ship was carrying 3,500 bags of mail and over 7 million pieces of mail were lost when it sank. Only around 340 bodies were located. Experts are divided about whether there are still human remains aboard the wreckage of the Titanic at the bottom of the ocean. Searchers have only recovered 340 bodies since the Titanic sank, leaving 1,160 still lost at sea. At least one worker died while building the Titanic. 
In 1910, 15-year-old Samuel Scott, the first casualty of the Titanic, fell from a ladder and died due to a fatal skull fracture. His body was buried in an unmarked grave in Belfast, finally receiving a headstone in 2011. Scott wasn't alone, as builder James Dobbins was crushed under lumber during the transport of the ship to a dock. Other deaths were also rumored to have occurred during the construction, which allegedly involved other young and unskilled workers and shoddy oversight. The Titanic featured a heated saltwater swimming pool on deck. The Titanic had a heated saltwater swimming pool on deck, a rarity for a luxury ocean liner at the time. It also featured Turkish baths, a squash court and a library. The captain may have been close to retirement. According to some reports, Titanic captain Edward John Smith may have been set to retire after this final voyage. Many people are torn about Captain Smith. Some say he was responsible for one of the worst disasters of all time based on his negligence, while others call him a hero as he bravely went down with the ship. The interior was designed to resemble the Ritz Hotel in London. If the interior of the Titanic looks familiar, it's because it was modelled after London's Ritz Hotel. The contemporary style included dining rooms with ornate ceilings and plush carpets, as well as first-class cabins designed after some of the suites at the Ritz. Of 885 crew members, only 23 were women. Of the 885 crew members aboard the Titanic, only 23 of them were women. 21 of the women were stewardesses, and the other two worked as restaurant cashiers. The stewardesses shared similar duties to the male stewards, but they typically only served the female passengers. 20 of the female crew members managed to survive. One of the survivors was Violet Jessup, who also survived the sinking of the HMHS Britannic. The last survivor died in 2009. In 2009, the last living survivor of the Titanic died at the age of 97. Milvina Dean was only nine weeks old at the time of the sinking, during which she was placed in a canvas mail sack and lowered into a lifeboat. Dean's father, who formerly ran a pub in London, was relocating his young family to Kansas City, Missouri by way of third class aboard Titanic. He perished during the tragedy while Dean, her mother and her older brother made it through the ordeal. Appropriately enough, she was the youngest survivor to be rescued by the Carpathia. Thirteen couples were honeymooning on that fateful voyage. Before Leo and Kate had the romance of a lifetime aboard the Titanic, 13 couples celebrated their honeymoon aboard the ill-fated ocean liner. One of those couples was Meister and Mrs. George Harder of New York, who both survived. There's even a book about the love stories aboard Titanic called Titanic Love Stories. The ship's baker survived, despite getting drunk. After helping some passengers, baker Charles Juvin got a little drunk. According to Juvin's own recollections, after saving women and children and drinking a fair amount of alcohol, he headed to an outside rail of the ship, was lowered down, and then swam away into the night. Around daybreak, he clambered aboard lifeboat B and managed to survive the disaster. The iceberg was 100,000 years in the making. The iceberg that sunk the Titanic may have been 100,000 years in the making, scientists now estimate. It may have also originally been 1,700 feet long, weighing 75 million metric tons. By the time it made contact with the ill-fated ship, it had dwindled to just 1.5 million metric tons. The Last Supper featured 11 courses. On April 14, 1912, the first-class dining room aboard the Titanic served an 11-course meal. Inspired by famous French chef Auguste Escoffier, the menu included cream of barley soup, poached salmon, chicken lyonnaise, pâte de foie gras, and Waldorf pudding. One of the funnels was just for show. The Titanic is visually known for its four iconic funnels spanning the length of the ship, but one of the funnels was non-functional. 
it was purely for looks. The film Titanic, however, depicted smoke coming out of all four, something James Cameron clearly didn't catch. The lookout did not have binoculars. If the lookout had access to binoculars, they may have been able to see the iceberg sooner and avoid the crash. The binoculars were in a lockbox, however, and the crew members couldn't find the key. It turns out the key's owner, 2nd Officer David Blair, was taken off the crew shortly before launch and forgot to hand it off to his replacement. Oh my God, what have you done? The Daily Mail initially reported no lives were lost. The day after the Titanic sank, the Daily Mail reported no lives were lost. Due to the lack of communicable technology, the newspaper had no clue about the reality of the situation and simply ran with hope. The next day, however, the headline was a bit darker. Boatloads of women, few men among survivors, 868 saved, 1,490 missing. A woman disguised a man to save him. While waiting for the lifeboats, an unknown woman placed her shawl over 22-year-old Daniel Buckley, which ultimately saved his life. Buckley had gotten into one of the boats, but was ordered to exit because he was a man. As reported in Irish Central, Buckley later testified to the Senate, I was crying. There was a woman in the boat and she had thrown her shawl over me and she told me to stay in there. I believe she was Mrs. Astor. Then they did not see me and the boat was lowered down into the water and we rowed away from the steamer. Nazis used the disaster as propaganda. In 1943, Nazi propaganda minister Joseph Goebbels made a Nazi film version of the sinking simply called Titanic. It portrayed the disaster only with a German officer as the hero of the film. The movie served as an attack on British society and has been called one of the most expensive and ambitious movies ever made at the time. Ultimately, the film tanked and was banned by Goebbels while director Herbert Selpin was arrested for speaking out against the Nazis. Did you hear anything you never heard before? Comment below if you know any other oddball facts about the Titanic. While you're at it, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for your daily dose of oddball facts and history.